button there is the button <laughs> hi bits of snake hi gunty hi evil how are you doing guys i know it's weird time and day to see me come online but i didn't stream yesterday and i wanted to stream today and at the same time i was like do i really want to stream today i actually i i don't even have coffee here today what what, what have i done <laughs> but yeah I'm, I'm live and i'm just I'm just going to play really dangerous and fly around and that is pretty much what my plan is. That is how much I have it fought through. And this is like everything is wrong. Oh, I didn't didn't do Nightbot yet. Um everything is wrong. <laughs> because my boyfriend used his computer. My boyfriend dared to use his computer yesterday. And because of that, every setting is somehow wrong. It's too bright! Uh, do you have a migraine or, or something? Because, okay, I don't. I <laughs> actually have close lines here. Um, but, um, I wanted to say, oh yeah, it's, it's like cold today. Yesterday I managed to go for a bit of a walk and um, I was supposed to have a, a doctor's appointment and then it got cancelled, which for a good reason, I was not supposed to have that kind of appointment. It was, it was some something weird happened there um so i was not feeling well yesterday at first well i was not feeling well and i was like it's okay you know i already announced that i will be starting later so it's not not a huge deal right that you know thanks um and then i was like okay i'm feeling better now i took painkillers i can start streaming and i come to the computer and i noticed both in the computer and on my Phones, just internet is just not working any anymore. <sighs> so I was like, and I was like thinking that maybe, maybe instead of you know being inside and whatever, maybe I should try to go for a walk because I really felt like walking a bit. So I was like, because the internet wasn't working, I was like, this is fate. I'm going outside, and I managed to go for a short walk. I managed to go to a bakery and get myself ham and cheese croissant, and and like uh, this pastry thing. And but then I got home <laughs> and I just fell asleep. I was just so tired from it, and I was like, no, no, I'm just. It was just too late and everything. So, and I, I tweeted yesterday that I, I I would like to stream today. And honestly, like if you asked me half an hour ago, I wouldn't be sure if I would be streaming. So, but I'm here now, and we will see how it will go. Okay, and hopefully it will be okay. And hi, Shayla, how are you doing? Yeah, it's some, something along those lines. It's it's basically um, you know what? Let me let me 
let me just get into the game and that sort of thing because I can talk in the game as well. Uh, so let's get rid of the things. I, I hope I did everything. Goodbye music. It was Slime House. He's wonderful. I sh think I upgraded, updated this. Yes, yes. The dog saying I have no idea what I'm doing is fairly accurate. Uh, I have ED Discovery running. I have... Um, I don't even know. I don't even know. Let's just do... <laughs> <laughs> what are you, wait let me let me click on there hi there hopefully everything is working so um like i'm noticing right now no no i hell it's not but if you are a european streamer it's like european twitch streamers but it's like european all streamers really um you know still you can join <laughs> Um, I was saying something. Oh yeah, so um, recently I'm because I'm doing more of the like messing more with my health and more with the physical uh, therapy and that sort of thing. Um, I'm trying. I'm focusing more on my health and like realizing that like lately I feel more like doing something like like trying to walk or doing some exercise. Hello planet or or something. Then, then I'm with streaming, and I will have to figure out what to do about it because where are we? Uh, because I really want to get better. I really like the idea of being able to walk somewhere, right? Which <laughs> is surprise, surprise. Um, okay, this is waypoint 10, which is right now 800 light years away, and this is my beautiful plotted route. And <laughs> I feel like I'm in this in this middle of nowhere. <laughs> Which is not bad, I guess. I, I once again totally ignoring whatever those points of interest are. Um, oh, look, a tiny nebula. Okay. And and that sort of thing. And I'm just I'm just going. What I was, what I might do. I might get rid of this plotted route. What I was trying to do. I was looking for trying to look for uh, carbon stars and full variety stars and non sequence stars because you know interesting things. And there aren't that many here. <laughs> I, was, I was a bit disappointed that I was just looking for the map. And I was like, but there's nothing. Where should I go? I found a few, a few, uh, you know, neutron stars and stuff. But it was just boring. And there should be some... I heard that there are some uh, restricted regions in this region of space, which is... You know, not the best, but whatever. I think I will want to try to check. What are you? A very bright. Um, words. Titari star. You know, let's just check that one. Why not? We might as well. Oh, but first, first, what I need to be doing is uh, I haven't finished exploring this particular system. So, as you can guess, I was playing a bit off stream because it was I don't know Ellie, Ellie got got to this stage that I kind of didn't know like I wanted to play it but I didn't know what to what to do about streaming it but now I'm streaming it so that's good I feel like it's it's really good like chill game right and I hope you don't disagree with that but I was just just a bit lost with all the games to stream all the everything it's I started overthinking streaming way too much, basically. That is what happened. And I'll have to think about like what I want to do with everything like going forward. Basically <laughs> there are too many things I want to do and I get I, I get disappointed if I don't do them well enough. And then there is, you know, always the, the pressure of streaming, of like doing more and being more entertaining. Hey, Shara, welcome. <laughs> I hope I will help you not be so bored. It's, I, I, I saw that it's snowing where you are. That is, I just, I, I would not want to do that. I'm, I'm in like full spring mode. I just, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to wearing my sundresses and stuff. Like, I'm thinking, will it be warm enough at TwitchCon to take my sundress? <laughs> Something like that. No, I don't need any more snow. Not to mention, by the way, 
wheelchair and snowing is like the worst <laughs> worst combination ever you just you don't want to do that like i guess it's it might be better than than wheelchair and rain but it's just it, it just sucks either way but uh, are because you you were mentioning that not not both of them were online or something like that. Shayla put skis on a wheelchair. <laughs> um, that is an interesting idea. I wanted to get my own wheelchair rather than the wheelchair I have right now is rented. And because of that, I kind of feel like I shouldn't do too much crazy things to it. You know, I will have to return it. But once I will have my own wheelchair, if I ever have will have my own wheelchair. I will totally, as if nothing else, do you know what wheelchairs don't have? Like, it's, it's, it, they just don't. A cup holder. Imagine you want to get a lovely, you know, Starbucks, whatever, anything, coffee to go. But if you are also supposed to push yourself in a wheelchair, where you are supposed to put your drink, you are screwed. So, yeah. Anyway, I need I need a cup holder, and I, I I never really push myself. I cannot do that, but still, <laughs> rocket chair that would be even better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, basically, Shawa, I'm 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 disabled. I'm sick. I have I have a thing, um, a Heller's Danlos syndrome. You can you can. There is a command for that. We're one of those <laughs> cup holders. You know, I things look at me weird. Things, mm, people look at me weird. <laughs> People look at me weird because I'm I'm quite young and either sitting in a wheelchair I'm quite young. I would say I'm young <laughs> and I'm either sitting in a wheelchair or I'm trying to walk by holding on to the wheelchair. Um, and people look at me weird, especially like old people. Um, and and I think that that kind of helmet would kind of make it even worse. Like it's bad enough. I have my favorite hat. It has like tiny cat ears. Oh, I could be wearing this. You will not see it because it's black and the game is black. So you will not see it. it is it like visible? It's not really visible. Okay, screw it. I don't need it. Um, I can wear, could I? I don't even have any makeup on, like not even nothing. Just why is, oh, this is cut off. Give me a moment. Let me fix that. Um, because when I was streaming last time, I had the migraine. And my camera was messed up because <laughs> reasons. Woo! <Whew>, there. <laughs> anyway, uh, I wanted to say something. Oh yeah, so my so my favorite favorite um, hat has like cat ears on it. <laughs> if I wear it and I'm in a wheelchair, you should you should see those stairs. That is like that is like next level. People people just don't get like who is this person? Why is the person in a wheelchair? Why the cat ears? But I love it. So like screw you people. It, Shayla, but I I think I think like that is perfectly perfectly like appropriate response. <laughs> I, it really sucks, it really sucks. It's like some some things. Just needlessly, needlessly complicated. A weep chair. <laughs> yeah. But my boyfriend was thinking about making it making it into some sort of castle or something. The wheelchair. Um <laughs> he was like, we have a lot of cardboard, we should do something about it for TwitchCon. And I'm like no, I'm not going to be covered in in cardboard. Well, I'm at a TwitchCon, hope you know, hopefully talking to potential sponsors or partners or something. <laughs> like, I, I know I am a queen, you know, Queen Luca, but still, I will not be in a cardboard box. <laughs> like I, I want to, you know, I have business card. I am, I am prepared to be like, you know, a professional, a professional streamer. In case you don't know, I'm a professional streamer. Um, and I'm like, you know, I'm prepared to do this in a very different way that he has an idea. Cardboard queen. See, that is where I, I know I love cats. Some people say that I am a cat, but there, there is a limit to my love of cardboard. <laughs> Like the the another joke is that you you probably remember. So I I started to make my uh, website. Um, let me post the link to that. There's a command for that. Um, 
yeah so i made the website because i wanted to make my own merch and i mostly wanted to make my own merch so i could wear my own merch to twitchcon right that sounds like a great idea um so <laughs> the, the, the website has been running for like a month no okay maybe maybe a month and I forgot to order my merch and hi honey team I appreciate you welcome so on Tuesday I finally ordered my own merch and I'm basically totally not refreshing like every hour whether the shirts are finally in fulfillment or what is going on with them like in theory they said shipping on average takes like three days and a review kato, um, I have three cats and they are assholes and not here right now. Wait, let me try to call them. Tiger kitty is I am. Maybe they will come. And and honey thief, I I'm looking forward to talking to you. I mean, <clears throat> <laughs> looking forward. To <laughs> now I'll be see I will be seeing you there. I will totally be seeing you there. I'm sad that Psyche is not coming, but I totally get. Well, I, if they come, they will come, but I'm not going downstairs to get the cats right now. I said it would just take too long. So, I am <laughs> not getting cardboard for TwitchCon. That is what I'm not doing. What I am doing for TwitchCon um, is that I'm on, on Saturday, I'm going to get my hair done. So, which is... Oh, hello, cat. Oh... This is Tiger, and I will not hit this star, but we could go, here you have a cat, can confirm, he, oh, uh, yeah, that's just a regular cat, you know. Hey, <laughs> what, <Anyway>, welcome, <laughs> oh, this honey TV mode, oh, that is brilliant, the banana rocket, oh, oh, hello cat, okay, okay, welcome, it's, it's not like I want to have, look for a fat guy in a Game of Thrones t-shirt, there will totally not be many of those, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, um, I used to. No, I'm I'm expecting half of the people. I'm expecting half of the people to be in Twitch merch and and <laughs> pretend they are very, very, uh, you know, original. Surrender to the cat. It's not like I have a choice. Just you wait. He will start cuddling up to microphone and turning it off. That is going to happen, and then you will suffer. Oh, he's not very. What, what do you want today, cat? Hmm. Oh yeah, he's boring. Mwah. Um, yesterday he was not having a good day. He was just not feeling well. He was complaining. Yeah, microphone is awesome. Yeah, cuddle, cuddle to it. I feel like, can I, can I, give me a moment, can I move my camera a bit higher? So you would see more of the cat? Oh, Rika too. thank you for the sub. <laughs> there, I think this, this, this might work a bit better. My hand will be kind of weirdly cut out, I think, maybe. Oh. It doesn't really make it better. You can see the cat better. <laughs> so cat, you're satisfied. <laughs> well, welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rikatu. Thank you. Um, you can now enjoy amazing emotes uh, that make a lot of sense in my channel. Hey, Bob Asylum, welcome. Welcome. How are you doing? Do we have... I think I had like a sub hub or just a welcome. Yeah. We have, we have like commands for everything. <laughs> Hi, Bimos. Welcome. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. And there are there are more cats will probably come, and you will probably hear more cats. So one of my cats, he's called Zayo, which means bunny, because in Slovak, I'm where I'm originally from, uh, there is like a scaredy bunny instead of scaredy cat, like in English. So that's why he's called Zayo. And what he does, he will be just meowing. He will be standing right outside the door, and he will be meowing, and you will hear him. There is no way to unhear him. Hit. Yes? <laughs> He's way, way too loud. Um, I wanted to say something. No, I don't know what I wanted to say. You distract me too much, cat. Oh, yeah, yesterday he didn't have a good day. He was just so unhappy about everything. So unhappy about everything. You have a gay cat, too. What? Isn't that like... like his name is Kitchi. <laughs> Okay, so his name is Tiger because he's wait, wait, oh, like striped. I don't know whether you can see it. Wait, this way. Oh, he is like a big cat, a big cuddly cat. And then I have Kitty. Kitty is the one I didn't name 
she's the oldest one and basically I got her I got her first and and yeah she was just named kitty and I was like I just didn't change her name she, they, she, they just call her kitty at the at the shelter place so yeah she just was kitty and then then I got this one and I was like he is a tiger so his name is Tiger. that is like different pronunciation and and then we got then we got the third one and they were like am I calling all my cats after animals oh yes yes I am and you know how, how it's sad that it doesn't really matter what you call your cat because the cat never listens they listen to their names they know you are talking to them right ticket hmm. Hmm. he is lovely by the way see um, so Kitty is Kitty is not spayed. Uh, both of my male cats, so together and I are male. Kitty is female. Uh, the males are spayed, but she is not. And for a bit, we lived with another female cat she, who was spayed. Her name was Dolly. And Kitty, because Dolly was the basically very dominant cat, and so is Kitty. But when Kitty was on the heat, in the heat, she was trying to get Dolly to give her kittens. Yeah, <laughs> I have plenty of experience with weird cats. Oh, oh, honey team. Oh, that was rough. Yeah, yeah, Evil, that is absolutely true. Most of the time, they will look at you, see whether you are calling them for any good reasons. That means, you know, food. And if it's not because of food, then they choose not to come. <laughs> but sometimes, for example, Tigger, he wants to cuddle almost all the time. Like, you know, I called him. He came from downstairs. He get, he went up the stairs. This this athletic body went up the stairs just to get cuddles. And he, he's like, okay, with me doing anything to him. Right. Right. Mm. He's a lovely cat. If, Kim, if cat mimics what you do, it means they love you. Oh, oh, this is... Like... So Tiger, this one, I had him since he was like two weeks old. Like I, I fed him, but you know, bottle fed him milk and everything. He is, I am his mommy. I am his, no, I am his mom. And <laughs> throughout the years, I taught him some very bad things. <laughs> I, was, I really struggled to unlearn him. At one point when he was a kitten, it was really cute when he tried to headbutt me. Like, like, really, like, you know, like, cute, cute thing. Yeah, that was a bit of a problem once he got a, 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 once he became a bigger cat. And he still wanted to headbutt, but he didn't really have any sort of, like, like, breaks or, or something. What is an appropriate amount? How hard to headbutt someone? <laughs> that was, it was like, it seriously hurt, okay? Ooh, what am I? This is the right button. It was, it, anyway, it was seriously hurting. So, <laughs> yeah, so basically I had to unlearn him to headbutt. That was, that was really a struggle. But what I trained my cats to do, uh, well, at least Kitty and Tiger, is that when they want me to let them go, they will give me a kiss. Instead of, you know, some, some cats, are, they will just try to wiggle out or they will try to, uh, you know, maybe claw you or something. No, their first, first thing they will try to do is kiss me. Or whatever, whoever is holding them, they will do like like pack on the like on their nose or something with their oh hello planet my planet <laughs> attracted by cats, um, and if if you don't let them go after the kiss, then all hell breaks loose. But you know you have a chance, you have a chance. Oh no, evil! How did it not work? It always works. I'm so glad we have Twitch. It really opened my eyes as to how crazy cat ladies are actually alive. <laughs> but, you know, you know. Just, you want to look your best for your cats, right? That's how it works. Thank you for the comment. <laughs> yeah. But he is, he is, he's my everything. He's a wonderful cat. You struggle to find the filling cap for your blinker fluid? How? How? What? <laughs> it's totally random. And I should try to actually aim this. This is a six efficiency target planet. So I will send it like this and go away because I don't even care about you, planet. That one was terraformable, by the way. That's why I 
mapped it. Um, you ask your female for a kiss when you give her a back rub and she said good enough <laughs> back rub she <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a cat. That sounds like a cat. Oh, are you happy now? Are you happy now? Look at the back. Look at the tail. How do you know it's terraformable? Um, I'm cheating. No, I'm using... Let me show you. I'm using ED Discovery. Hey, hey, work with me. Uh, and ED Discovery shows icon if it's terraformable. The other way to check whether it's terraformable, I will show you the way how to check it in, in Ellie Dangerous. If we find if there are any planets here, are there any planets here? 18 bodies. Can I get some fuel? Thank you. So basically here, let's find a planet. Um, ideally, this one is terraformable, okay. Um, okay. So. You go to the system and you go to this tab and when you mouse over it, do you have like details about the planet? If the map is if the planet is terraformable, it will say the body is a candidate for terraforming. And it will be worth much more money if you sell it. So that is the difference. It's just one one li line in there. Now I can observe you getting lunch. Go get it. I was I am so hungry today. There is not enough food in the house to feed me. Oh, ammonia rolled. Okay. You know, he's thinking about that is that is Zayo when he wants to cuddle. He, I call him that he's socially awkward. He's just a weird cat. Uh, when he when he wants to cuddle, he is somehow just convinced that all we want is his butt. Is this this is by the way way too dark? I didn't have. Oh, let's do this. Much better. I don't have a migraine anymore. I can actually see. So he's just convinced that all we want is his butt. Hello, Waterworld. Uh, so he will just position himself over and over again in a way that his butt is facing you. And that is just not the best experience. And Shao, thank you so much for the follow. Your is a mackerel striped common long? What? Big sloopy tail. Where? Goodbye, cat. Mm, cat is no longer. <laughs> One of your name is... is Ash. She looks like a brown ash. You know, the only ash I can think of is, is Ash Ketchum, but I wanted to be like him when I was a kid. Ooh. <laughs> the cats will, become, will come back. You know that, right? <sighs> How is it, Evil? Tell me. How is it with the hair? Uh, the dolly that lived with us, she was a rag doll. The hair was unreal. It was everywhere. I could not get rid of it. It was like, it's like she only lived to leave cat hair everywhere. So how is it? And I love, I love how Norwegian first cats look. I, that is, I think they are like absolutely beautiful. I used to want one when I was younger. And then I lived with Dolly for a bit. And there was cat hair everywhere. And I was like, holy shit, no. I will. <laughs> how can you live with so much hair? Thank you for the follow, you cat. Um, Kitty? I think they are sleeping. It's their sleep time, you know. And I know they need a lot, lot of br brushing. And that is the thing. Like, I was the one who had to brush Dolly. Oh, there are so many terraformables here. Uh, okay, not so many. But this is this is quite an expensive system. Look, we have. Terraformable, terraformable, terraformable moon, terraformable water world, and then we have, ugh, move, an ammonia world. This is pretty good, so two, three, five, and se uh, and eight for mapping. Two, three, four, five, and eight. Okay, let's go five, three, four, two, eight. Seems like a reasonable way to do it, right? You brush him daily with a soft brush. The more intense brushing every three days on average. Damn. I don't think I would have that much patience. Use a claw brush on yours, but she attacks it when she's had enough. So I have like a Ferminator? 
I think that's, that's the name. Uh, brush and all the cats love it and it works pretty well, but I I brush them like only when they are shedding For a few times Okay, shower. Thank you so for stopping by. Have a nice day. You don't have a cat, but But with your fiance you want to have 80 free cats So are you are you cat person or do you also like dogs? Yeah, yeah, evil. Yeah, but you know my my cats are short-haired, so it's not a problem. Uh, we don't have the the ragdoll anymore. Well, she basically her owner took her. She wanted eighty-two. You wanted one. Well, you made compromise. That is a wonderful compromise. I honestly, though, I think more than one cat is always better than just one cat. I've never heard about Zoom Groom. I was like, maybe, maybe if I, I don't know. That is like, like still, like part of my mind that is like, it would be so amazing to have a beautiful, long haired, big cat. But then I'm like, uh, and I would, I would want to have a dog in the future when I will, you know, either have a big garden or, or something. So, you know, there will be a way for the dog to exercise and everything without me actually walking the dog. And a lot of the dogs shed a lot. And even though they are not like super long haired, they still shed a lot. And I'm just like, what do I want to do about that? How, how do I want to deal with a dog that sheds so much? Or do I, do I really, <laughs> how will I survive having a dog basically? Have I? Oh yeah. I, I hope you are also enjoying. I was I was I started to really appreciate again this mapping and how I just send the probes and fly away and let you know the gravity deal with it. It's not a lot of work really to groom a long hair cat. It's just a moment you cuddle your cat and give them attention and affection. Okay, so basically the problem with the dolly was that her hair wasn't that well cared for. So she had like a lot of, first of all, she hated, she hated uh, brushing probably because she was not used to it. They like uh, originally she was basically only brushed when her hair got like, it got too bad. Like she got a lot big clumps. So it was, it was really difficult to work with her. You have ask rumor comb. Yeah, I'll see. I will see what the future will hold for me. I would love to, what I would love to do. Uh, when I get better is to uh, volunteer at a shelter or something and I am kind of afraid that if I do that there will be a point when uh, I will just have way too many animals okay this one so after this will be f after this four and then eight why I feel like there was another okay it doesn't matter Oh, I see. So, what what does, does it mean, Evil? How sensitive skin? This is actually actually something I feel like I should look into because what Tiger has a patch of skin, a patch of fur when he gets, um, like dandruff, I guess. It's like on top of his back by the tail. That is just a patch of skin that always, or patch of fur. I don't know what how you call it. That was always a bit weird. Like always had a different quality uh, coat from the rest of his everything, and I would love to do something about it because, like, especially now because he's shedding, there is there is just a lot of dandruff, and I feel like you know if there is that much dandruff, the skin has to be dry, and it has to not be comfortable for him. But I, I really don't know what to do about it. I feel like they are getting quite good food and I'd never noticed food really affecting the quality of his fur. They're just ignoring me. They're not coming today. Assholes. Little assholes. Your cat loves to be groomed. Trying to teach him to roll on his other side when you tell him to. Yeah, see, my, my cats also love it. But they are, they are short haired. They, I even, what I do, because I, I just, I don't have that much patience for it. What I do, I will hold their tail and brush. Like, <laughs> it 
towards tail and they are it's not like I'm pulling on their tail or something it's more like stay in place and they are okay with that <laughs> they're just okay I probably should have gotten a mug a cup or something I have nothing here Um, I had one of the friends I had back in Slovakia had actually uh, uh, I think it was Norwegian forest cat or something like that. I love the cat so much From Kong what is from Kong <laughs> also an, a Different TwitchCon things I've been invited to like party place thing with just one like ticket so, like no no plus one and and also no information about like how accessible is the place and I send the organizers like a message like hey I would need to know how whether the place is wheelchair accessible and whether I can take my my handler my boyfriend there I didn't say handler I was being here <laughs> writing a handler um and I really hope they will reply because otherwise it will be really sad. You can't touch your cat's feet. Really, really. No, my my cats are. It's a sex club. Which what what? No, my my cats are okay with me doing. Ah, <sighs> do I want to say it like that? Basically, kitty. Kitty is like more usual cat. Um, if she doesn't like what she, what you're doing, she will let you know and she will smack you and she will claw you if you're if you're hurting her or something. But um, the other two cats, Zayo is too scared. He will pretend he's dead. Like literally, he will be just just nothing. Uh, <laughs> and Tigger loves me too much to protest. It's purple one shaped like a cat. That is that sounds cute. That sounds really cute. That sounds really really cute. I I try I what I really hate are those those pet brushes that are basically just like wires sticking out of a comb, right? I'm like holy how I'm not using that or anything. I think my my mom got one when we when we had a dog, thinking that it has to be good enough for a dog, but it hurts. Like it hurt on my skin. Why would I even try to do something like that to a to a dog, right, or to a cat? It's just totally absurd. I don't know why people invent torture mechanisms for animals. Surface scan complete. Yeah, so far scanned everything by not looking whether I'm really throwing it at the same place. No, I'm trying to send it to the right place. Kinda. It's called greed, yeah. Yeah, well, exactly. If it's unpleasant for you, I didn't use it on the card. Yeah, that is a really good, good thing. This is... These are some very interesting orbital lines here. They go so far away from each other. So far apart. Interesting. But yeah, I, I don't like that. I don't like that. It's also like, oh, what I hate, what I hate in regards to like cat, animal, whatever, is really you taste the cat food. Yeah, I was just about to talk to you about cat food. Like the, the I don't want to, to name the brands, but you know, the brands that are in supermarket and they have a lot of marketing campaigns and and when you look at the ingredients list there is like especially with cat food and there's barely any meat whatsoever it's like like wheat or whatever like the hell the cats they need to eat meat right that or, or animal products not not wheat not anything like that and then you go to the supermarket and all the especially even the more exp more expensive supermarket food is just full of crap and the problem is that you know I, I you know it's not that big of a deal for me I will just order online the cat food that I believe it's good or at least it's definitely much better than what you could get at the supermarket 
Although I have to admit I'm also not ordering like the super expensive cat food because I believe the quality of the food is awesome, but my quality of my wallet is not. Uh, yeah, but then there are people who just, you know, instead of like the supermarket owned brand, they will buy the, the, you know, the ad whatever brand of cat food and pretend, oh, now, yeah, they're getting their cat food, such a good food, their cat, such a good food. And I'm just like, oh, no, no. In general, I feel like the more ads are for cat food, the worse the brand is. That's really nice, Evil. Yeah, I, I, my, my, the food I, I get, it's not that fancy, but it's like, it doesn't have grains and stuff. Um, you know, uh, Shayla, some veggies are, are not bad for cats. But it should be, it should be. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Okay. All good. I just almost hit the ring. I did not slow down enough. I wanted to go right here at the edge. So I could, you know, send the probes. Okay, kidding. No, this is once again not good. I am complicating this way too much. This should be okay. Yeah, that looks okay. Hey, kitten. I think he wants some cuddles and the cat is back. Ah, of course, welcome. It's not like I could say no to you, right, kitten? Oh, for a moment I couldn't see the ring. That was cool. Uh... I hope this is okay, I'm way too close. Yeah, that is an ammonia world. And hi, Barnard. Uh, what am I looking at? We are at this one. Terrestrial ammonia world. But without atmosphere. That is, like, this has no atmosphere. Why cannot I land, right? <laughs> I look at it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, these are, anything interesting about these? It doesn't look that way. And have I... There is the other ring as well. Hey, kitten. What do we have in here? V watch plum side. Whatever that is. <laughs> and the inner one? Okay, some, some more things. Not that I'm interested in them, but you know, it has things. Let's continue. Yeah, Shayla, I... I think that will be part of the 2020 update, honestly. I don't think there will be anything that big in, like, one of the smaller updates. How are you doing, Barnard? How are you doing on this almost Friday? Yeah, I don't- I will have to figure out what I want to stream tomorrow. I was thinking of returning to Hollow Knight. Um, that might be interesting. But, yeah, I will see, I will see. There's... Yeah, Evil, but just for six months, I think? And... Or something like that? Or was that ammo? I know... I don't even know. I... Honestly, I stopped caring. I so stopped caring. Instead, I got a Epic Store Creator code. <laughs> no, you know, I... I... Was thinking about it. And... I don't mind Epic Store anymore. I feel like because there are there are some very some people ha were having a really good points that Steam had a lot of problems over the time, over the years, and no one really complained about it. So I feel like it's time that Steam had serious competition, and honestly. It's very hard to get into into this market right now without having any any really good reason for it, right? Like, let's say you could say basically that some of the games on GOG are GOG exclusives because let's say no one no one else really wants it, and yeah, you get the games DRM free and everything. But the point is that that you cannot buy the games anywhere else, right? 
but I don't really think it's a problem. And at the same time, if, even though I believe GOG is, I love GOG as a service and as everything, Steam is so much easier to use. So I think it's if there was just a different launcher, I would not be using Epic Store. Yeah, but what I what what I think, or what I want to believe, I want to believe, and maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe you know, I'm too naive, and and you know I'll be just completely wrong soon enough. But I feel like. First of all, Epic Star has those inclusive exclusive for time restricted period, which is not a problem for me. I am. I would want to say that ex uh, except for like the games I got for for from devs for free because I'm a streamer. I am sort of like a patient gamer. I would rather buy games later when they are on sale or something. Um. So. I don't really care about that. That even if it's a game I want and I wouldn't want Epic Store, I would just wait anyway. Yeah, Shayla, Shayla maybe. Yeah, right, Barnard. And when I'm buying games on sale, I mostly I mostly care about where I can get them for for cheaper. Yeah, evil, but a lot of people are comparing the list of features that uh, you know Steam has compared to Epic Store. I am not using most of those features. I am not using the only feature I'm using, as far as I know, is the Steam Workshop. I don't care about Steam reviews, I don't care about the whatever pages for games that I don't know people use it, like the forums things, uh, the news for games, honestly, that's why I have Twitter for. Um, The other thing is Steam didn't buy exclusive games. They were charged. Yeah, but see, Steam Cloud Saves is also what I'm, what I'm not using. Uh, Steam ga uh, game servers. I don't think I'm using that. I'm not really playing any any games like that. Yeah, but hey, hey, Steam was not Linux accessible from the beginning. That was a new thing. Like, tell me, tell me what I'm what I'm using. I'm not u I am only playing games on this computer. I'm not playing on any other, so cloud saves for me are totally, you know, it's it's not a thing that I would care about because <laughs> I don't play anywhere else. Um, yeah, I know that it, it feels weird to have those exclusives, um, but at the same time, I feel like I cannot think of a better way they would have um, it would be done. I know, but why would I lose my games? And honestly, if I haven't played a game long enough, then I will just start a new, new like um, <laughs> start your Wally 50 playthroughs and stuff like that. No, I will not. It it happened. Evil. It happened to me so many times. I like I had to. But okay, I am. This is this is my thing. This is my thing. When I get a new like when I get a new phone, I never take phone numbers to the to the other phone. I just, like, if I need those phone numbers, I'll get them again. And I have, like, like my mom, I will save, like, my mom's number and my boyfriend's number and my dad's number. And and then eventually, you know, grandma's will call me. So I'm like, oh, this is grandma. So we'll <laughs> save grandma's number. <laughs> um, the issue is we need centralized launcher instead of different launchers from... Uh, I don't trust centralized. I don't, I don't trust centralized. No, I, I don't. There is, I am more scared of having too much power in one in the hands of one publisher or one one launcher, which now what Steam has, than than installing more launchers, really. Yeah, Shayla, that is that is a point. Like we should, 
we should be like. Like, hey, Epic, this this is not what we really like when you do it. But at the same time, I feel like there has to be something like way in between, rather between, uh, you know, hating on them and and just telling them that it's not acceptable. Yeah, Evil, that, that is a really good point. That is a really good point. But... Dude... On the other hand, it's... It's better than they are thinking into the future? Then, um... I mean, you know, when it comes to something like this, I always think about Riot Games. And how they have only one game. And they are... I don't want to say they are milking the game, but sometimes they they are just the only thing they are trying is to make money from one game. Whereas maybe maybe Epic Store, I'm sure they have like you know they want to make money from it, but uh, maybe because it's not their only way to make money because they are making money from Fortnite, that it might be more sustainable. It happened to the old Windows game launcher thing. I never heard about that one. Epic don't care, they already have gone back on their statements three times so far, claiming games pre-sold freely. Really. Yeah, we will we will see. Like that is that is the only thing. You cannot expect anything. Skynight, thank you so much for the host. Like in, in the same way. Why do you feel like Steam cannot fall, right? Just because something existed for regardless how many years it can still crash and why is it not better than to have more more different things look at look at look at look at high sky night high sky night honestly what video valids the only fear i have is epic makes it a requirement to release game on epic story for its unreal engine once fortnite dies Maybe. I, I don't know enough about this. I don't know enough about the... I heard people talking about the Unreal Engine Fortnite Epic Store thing, but... I feel like I would... I don't know. I would rather want to hear devs talk about it, whether... If there was some sort of problem. I don't know. I want to see... I want to see new things happen. And... You know what I what really pissed me off? What what kind of got me to the Epic Store side? Like not really. I'm I don't want to say I'm on any anyone's side, but I got really salty that uh, Steam reviews got bombarded for Borderlands One and Two because uh, you know they they decided to make Borderlands Free Epic exclusive, which is like that means the previous games are bad that's just you know what what is the point of having game reviews if you just complain about the developer right like what's what's the point what are you trying to do there yeah Shayla, i that is that is what i really like about about gog and i kind of wish i was i was having more games on gog but oftentimes there are either the games I guess the games are cheaper on on Steam or I just I don't know or they are just not the games I want to play. The games are getting I'm getting for free, right? Hey, Evil, I don't I don't think. So, this is the thing with making a better launcher. People don't like change. There is there is no like clear complaint, oh this one thing would make uh Steam a better launcher, so if, if any launcher had this one thing right, then they would be better than Steam. Uh, and people people hate on any change whatsoever. Like when I laugh so much when any social media has a change, everyone will complain about how horrible it is, how they are quitting the social network, or whatever, and then they get used to it. And you know, maybe it was better, maybe it was was worse, but in the end it doesn't it doesn't care. It's just people don't like change. 
the issue is the culture of gaming community, not Steam versus Epic. I think you are you are right. You know, if if we could have like fully decentralized launcher system, something that would be awesome. You are so happy right now, feeling so much relief. Finally, realize that you don't have a hand growing. Up. <laughs> It's a crown. It's a tiny crown. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It sounds horrible. I think I think the problem with the I think the problem by with you know how much cut the store takes is that developers would just have the same price for Epic Store and for Steam and just take bigger cut from Epic Store. They would have no reason, no reason whatsoever to lower the price on Epic Store. Unless Epic would make that a requirement. Because that's how business works. Okay, yeah, Barnard. Yeah, 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 I see what you mean. I feel like, I feel like the problem with launchers or maybe I'm wrong, fight me. Like, talk to me. But I feel like one of the problems with launchers is that people care about piracy protection more than like developers care about privacy, uh, piracy protection maybe more than they should. Because if I can get easily the game somewhere for a reasonable price, that is way easier than pirate the game. And I think that that goes for pretty much anywhere. And you you could I I read in a lot of places that basically thanks to Steam Store, Steam, yeah, Steam, um the piracy went down because people didn't have to do it. It's so much easier to buy a game legally online than to um you know, try to try to pirate it or something. Even though you can still find them pirated as well and yeah same with netflix and torrenting things and i feel like if they if they let's say i feel like if you remove that sort of protection then there is no no problem whatsoever to have one software that just confirms that yeah you have it bought from any marketplace whatever so you can download it right because yeah, it's accessibility issue, yeah, because that is like, then it's the problem that, you know, I already own the game on Steam. Why cannot I launch the game through Epic Store Launcher, through GOG Launcher, through whatever, you know, the decentralized or whatever launcher? No, it's because they, they, it, it's basically pirated, pirate protection. That is what it is. And it just makes me a bit mad because that is that is the whole problem. Then if if that wasn't the problem, that if it if there could be some, you know, library where you would just confirm that hey you I own the game, this is the confirmation from Dell that I own the game and that I can download the game, then we could have anything. We could we could have any of those, you know we could have just launchers that are not stores, right? That we would just launch the games that we own, that we bought anywhere. And do it like that. And I think that would be glorious. But that, that is a problem that I don't think we can solve as consumers because... Yeah. Yeah, Barnard, yeah, it's just that... That's like I get so pissed off. Or you, you own the game. You legally own the game. You own it on Steam, and you want to play it. But for some reason, the game has a special DRM on it, so you have to be online to confirm that you can play, even though that you want to play in Steam offline mode, even though you are not connected to internet right now for whatever reason. No, you are screwed because the game just needs to see it confirmed online that you really have the game. And that happened to me a few times. And it just pisses me off. <laughs> really pisses me off. Yeah, right, Taylor? Right? It's like pirates will have it a bit later. Yeah, yeah, right, Barnard? Exactly. 
Oh, oh, I hate it so much when you have on the ads on DVDs that you shouldn't illegally download a movie because you wouldn't steal a car. You wouldn't download a car, right? Well. <laughs> hey, Woody Bandit, welcome. Oh, there's all there is. Okay, then. Yeah, it's just... Oh yeah, yeah, and I don't, I don't, I'm more surprised that people are not ma more mad about you play and, and all of those, all of those, because that have very few games that are only, only that they develop, and if for some reason if they develop the game then it's everything okay, even though the service totally sucks and everything. Like, like, that, that is, that is the joke. If you could just spawn a car out of nowhere, with, no one would lose the money in, because, you know, there are no, in, in that way. Car is a horrible comparison. Everyone would download a car if they could. Yeah, you play Origin, those things, like, why are we not hating on them? Like, yeah, yeah, they maybe, uh, they do have exclusive, but their exclusive is what they made, so let's pretend that is okay. Like, we suddenly don't care. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just I don't know. I don't know. I just want the world to be a better place. And and I feel like complaining about Epic Store is not helping it. Yeah, I think if there was if there would be if there would be a push to have uh you know a launcher that is not a store. I would love that. But that is not what's happening right now. Origin asked you to do customer survey. Use it to write about supporting the blood launcher for five billion games you play once the blue moon. That is and so I would love to play more The Sims. I really love The Sims. I would I would love to play more of it. But holy shit. First of all, only Origin, right? I don't even know whether the game is somewhere else. And then and then it's so expensive. They they didn't have this, that the same sort of sales as you know other other stores or whatever have. Um, is this still the? This is not the heaviest system. This is just wrong. Hey Zim, this launcher that isn't a store. It's on Linux. That is the thing. Yeah, I don't I don't lose Linux anymore. I used to use it. Yeah, I would, I would kind of, like, if, if things changed and I could, I would love to go back to using Linux. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. But, but, um, you know what, let's, okay, let's swing by this and the, you know, waypoint 10 and then I figure out where else to go. It's just I, I there are so many things I want to do and I, I feel like even even OBS is not working properly, the games are not working, not all some games are working, but if I if I want to be a streamer and I want to be a if like professional full time streamer, I guess I am, but still. Um I cannot run into that sort of problems with, with games. I have to try to play on a machine that can run most of the if not all the games. Yeah, it's basically like if you I don't want to play games or you want to have a Linux. I know there's and there's wine and there are some games on Steam that run on, on that. I know, but it's still it's not in as good place as I would want it to be. I used um, in the past I used Ubuntu of course and I used OpenSUSE. And I think I my my then boyfriend he even I think he even had a laptop with Arc that I use from time to time but it was uh, the open source was my favorite it had I don't remember what it was called but it has this this really nice app to just download some stuff and that was really cool yeah yeah so that is exactly the problem yeah I would I would I would love if, if like 
eventually people will be able to play all the games. If, if I could play all the games, I would be using Linux and not Windows. Absolutely. Steam play is getting really good, but I don't want to have to troubleshoot when you just want to play a game. <laughs> yeah, or if you if you want to get answers by googling, right? Right? That is a thing. I, w I would definitely... I'm thinking that... Well, oh, I have a laptop that is like on its last leg. And like it's struggling to, to run anything at this point. And I was thinking what to do about it. Um, and I was thinking for a bit to run Linux on it. But at this point, the plastics are starting to break. So I feel like this will just be sense to be destroyed. It's kind of it. Thank you so much for gifting a sub to Shayla. Shayla, you are now a sub. You can use the amazing emotes anywhere. Making the world a better place one sub at a time. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Her awesome is kind of Thank you very much. Network on YouTube website. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, 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 I think Linux absolutely has its place. <laughs> I'm, I'm so in love with my devil emote. I'm so proud that it, that how good it still looks. That I'm, I'm not hating it because if you, if you do some sort of art, you often start hating it after a while that it's not good enough. But I'm really happy about the devil emote. I feel like it's, it's really good one. If it's not worth selling, just stick Linux on it and see how it goes. Yeah, I know, I know I could just, you know, um, uh, have a boot booting that boot device thing. But And hi, Philip, welcome. How are you doing today? It, it, it will, basically, the laptop was, the laptop, when I got it, I got it new, like, four years ago, maybe? Maybe even a bit more? And it was like 200 euros new. It was not a good laptop at that point. And um, so you can imagine, it's not a great laptop at this point. Um, but the problem is, the problem is the plastic quality. Basically, um, I open and close it. You know, that's what you do with laptops when you are finished using it. You will close it, right? If you are, if you are starting to use it, you will open it. The hinges and everything that holds the screen are starting to break, uh, and I don't want to deal with that. That is like the most frustrating thing. <laughs> it also has a different problem, and I don't know whether it's a driver problem or something. But sometimes it just starts. Like, should I call it? Artifacting even just all the all the screen gets all weird and bad and everything and once I And once I uh, restart it it gets temporarily fixed. So that's good um, You have yeah, Shayla, they're always a pain You have a friend who broke their computer by not keeping Windows up to date and getting all sorts of bloat on it you Try to help him troubleshoot Got to the point where I'm like, I'm going to install Linux Mint on it. It will look like Windows Neil pretty much <laughs> word processing. Yeah, yeah. That that yeah, that works. Oh no, Philip, I'm sorry. I, I hope I hope it will not be that bad. I had a hardware fault. Oh the clamshell style what are clamshell style windows? Uh style laptops. Hey, Shifty! <laughs> I'm great, how are you doing? <laughs> you got... Well, kinda, kinda. The greetings part is not really something you would commonly say, but, but the akusamash, it's like, how are you? That is good. That is okay. Damn, it is like... It's, it's not like totally, but it's like, like questionable. But it's okay. How are you doing? Clamshell is when top of the laptop curves around the rear and moves the hinges lower. Ooh. I don't- I, I've never seen that, I think. But then again, I've never had, like, a fancy, schmancy, expensive laptop. I always had, like, the, the cheaper laptops, and that's probably why. Uh, this one, I- I hoped it would last. I like, it did not- it's not like it's- it's- Like, four years is, you know, good time for a laptop. Um... 
but basically uh, it's Dell, but it's idea pad and not think pad. So I was hoping that because think pads are in general really sturdy laptops. I was hoping that that even though it's idea pad that it would last a bit longer, but not really. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Chela. If I'm if I'm looking if I will be looking for a new laptop, which I probably will be at some point if that one breaks, um, then I'll. Okay, who am I kidding? I will still be buying the cheapest laptop possible that will cover basic functions. They're playing some Satisfactory. Awesome. I I was thinking about whether I should stream more Satisfactory. And why I really enjoy the game, I really don't enjoy how my computer doesn't run the game properly. And But, I, you know, I want to get a new computer this year. Which I still haven't put it into my Twitch thing. I want to have, like, a goal for this year. And one of my goals for this year is to get the new computer. Which will be, you know, a donation goal. Like, there. Uh... After Twitch gone. Um, and then I will return to playing Satisfactory when I'll have a new computer. Uh, no, no, Shelly. No, they are they are like a quite new small company, so they don't do something like that yet. Unfortunately. Like, I, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. You know, I don't really need a good laptop. It's... It's basically why I use laptop for is if I'm having like a bad day and I cannot really stand uh, sitting on a computer at a computer here, uh, then I will be just on a couch and that's where I will use the laptop. Is, is this way where it is? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, basically I just need something that can run YouTube videos and Twitch streams and that sort of thing. Which... My current laptop can run questionably. Like if there is too much too much activity in the chat, the laptop cannot handle that. <laughs> and it's really sad, but you know, it's like you, you have you deal with what with, with what you have. No, it's it's not that that sort of company. It's not that sort of company. It's it's I want to say something similar to Airbnb and that sort of thing, that they don't have... They are selling services, basically. So, yeah. But maybe, maybe. I was I was also thinking that if my health would get good enough, then maybe I could get, like, a part-time job to... You know, supplement my income while streaming does not, you know, make me that much money. Um, especially I was I was just kind of shocked when I actually learned how much is minimal wage here in the Netherlands which is like so much more than this in Slovakia so it would actually make a difference for me if I if I could have you know at least a part-time job where I would be able to make some money which would be great and then you wouldn't have to send me money to get myself a new computer because I could actually buy it. Yeah. I don't... <sighs> See, that is the, the thing, Shifty. I feel like if I was to get go into something like that, um, I would basically stop streaming. Like, I would, because I could make that in my career, kinda, even though if I was working from home and stuff, or something. And I would have to learn a lot of it to be actually able to do that, because I, while I have some, like, basic design ideas and, and know some basics how things should work, I'm not, like, good at that, you know, so I would, I would have to focus on that and... To get to a place where it wouldn't make me any money, I might as well just, just stop streaming and just focus on that. That is that is it. Like, I even have some basics programming and things like that, but once again, not enough so I could just, you know, take on some, some contract or something. I could not actually make something right now by myself. I would have to learn that and, and it would be a lot of time taken. And I would really want to be a streamer, you know. 
I I feel like streaming is a really really good career for me to have. Wait, especially that is that is Project welcome. Money is overrated, naps are free. And can be had any time, even in public, right? Right? You are absolutely right. But that is that is the problem that with my health. Basically I cannot have uh a job that requires you know nine to five or whatever um, that is the great thing about streaming if I just feel like shit like I did yesterday I can just not stream and it's it's like how many jobs are there where you can just you know you are not feeling well so you'll be like oh sorry boss like for the next three months I will not work an hour because my health is just not good enough you know that sort of thing it's just, it, it really sucks, like, planning-wise, future or anything. I cannot really, because my health is so random. So, yeah, it's just... I, I don't really know what to do about it. Oh, that is the jump. So, basically, that's why I was thinking of picking up just some simple... I don't even know part-time job like if, if I could like even work something like in McDonald's whatever when I mean, that would be glorious amount of money compared to how much I make as a streamer Ta-da! this is waypoint 10 I don't know why it's interesting or why there's a waypoint here but you know this is the waypoint uh, do we have anything interesting in here First, let's get some fuel. Hey there. Thank you. I don't need that much. This is the big star. Um, you know what? I will check. Let's fly away from it first. It might be because it's right next to the nebula. No, it's not big. It's just one solar mass. Zebadian! I know Zebadian! Oh, I haven't seen him in some time here in chat. Okay, let's 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 check and discover all of the system here. Asteroid clusters and after that we can either go to that nebula here, right next to us, or I will just go to a random direction and do some exploration. Hey, hey ch chilling chilling ice! <laughs> Why was it so hard to read? But welcome. <laughs> yeah, Project Beaks. I I totally get. It. You know, you know. And yes, I, basically streaming is like if you are, if you are thinking about streaming from like money stand point of view. No, there is just, just so hard to make money. You have to be a really big streamer. To make a lot of money and it's not easy to get there it's like you know also some people that have huge huge instagram following or you or something they can make money from it but it's not that easy and it's definitely not as stable as you are just you know employed i'm good i'm just complaining here hi chilling guys um but because i i am so sick because i'm disabled it's for me, it's right now. I can either make tiny amount of money from streaming, or I can make nothing by doing nothing. So streaming works much better than doing nothing. Um, but yeah, I would I would love to be able to make some more money, and I will be streaming, and I will be hoping that you know I will make it. And I, you know, don't get me wrong, I know I'm doing much better than a lot of other streamers. Um, but it is, it is just, oh, it has biological. Let's go check there. But it's just, just, you know, there are things to think about for the future and everything. You know, living is expensive. I basically, with how much money I, I make, I could not really afford, like, I don't think I could really afford my health insurance for example, like, I, I am able to live in the Netherlands because my boyfriend supports me, 
in everything, buys me food, I li live in his house. Also, streaming makes friends. Yeah, that is that is a really good point. Um, a lot of the jobs, all of the, a lot of the, you know, work from home, it's very solitary work. Whereas if I'm streaming, I'm talking to you. It's, you know, if I'm like, like, sim in the sims you are you are my my social need is filling by streaming which is really nice because otherwise i would be greatly isolated and that goes for a lot of people who are you know stuck being in their homes or anything which i am a lot so i would say in in that way streaming is really amazing for me it's just i wish i was able to make a living out of it basically because right now I am not <laughs> I need to I'm quite sure you will be the only weird thirsty boy creeping around me <sighs> but yeah it's just see may maybe if I was if I was but it's cold today so I'm wearing a sweater but Maybe if I was doing other things, maybe I would be growing. And now I'm, I'm streaming here, no makeup and glasses. Like the, the least attractive streamer ever. Female streamer, right? It doesn't matter that much for guys. Oh, first Bush would mean that would be one of them. <laughs> I'm just... I'm not that kind of streamer, right? They're like, they're, that kind of people are not really interested in me. That's the thing. Scan and it's it's honey Thief. he's he has that sort of humor. That is. He he is the one that's acceptable here. Okay, I should stop doing that or I'll be sick. So show me biological. Yeah, thank you. But yeah, it's just it's just I I and and if I it, if I could know like what I'm what I could be doing better that would be even 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 better but I I feel like it's really hard to improve for me yeah yeah see I'm just I'm just not that kind of person Shayla I I don't know I I like that I have most of my viewers are are most of my people right are really nice and ma mature in that in that like not not like loot too much loot in a sense of way but like being being you know just normal normal nice people and i really enjoy that i want to hang out with normal nice people i would not be streaming if i if i i had my whole chat be hating on me i would i would you know what what kind of there are no no amount of money that could make me do that honestly because <laughs> I value my mental state way too much for that. <laughs> Shall I? But you know I meant it in a good way, right? It... <laughs> it, hey, don't, 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 don't make it worse. Don't make it worse. Don't make it worse. It's just, you know, the sort of, the sort of people who are... Hey, honey thief, I, I send you a gift of giving you a cake. Ooh, it's shelling eyes. Depending on how fast you go, whether you use neutron highway, what kind of ship you have, how far your ship can can go. Uh, I am I was I'm already past Sagittarius A. I was going with distant worlds and we were uh, taking like a really, really slow pace. Um Anaconda 41 light years. Um That is just wait just 41 am i am i am i yeah i have that is surprisingly low i was expecting more um <laughs> okay <laughs> it's not engineered i see um i would do you have guardian guardian frame shift drive booster because that that adds 10 which I have. Um, I would, if you feel like it, I would say some basic engineering doesn't take that long. Uh, you're pretty new at the game. Oh, I see. So, with the Guardian stuff, 
with the guardian stuff that is a bit special you basically have to go to let me let me show you <laughs> that is where i am so this is this is where the bubble is right this is where everyone starts in the bubble now um, if I go to map and go civilization, you will see blue dots, which are guardian. Uh, and in this guardian space, you can find temples where you can get those um, uh, blueprints. Basically, different blueprints that you can exchange for one, for you know something. There are some. There are some uh, weapons, there are some like power plant and different different things you can get. But the best thing you can do is basically um, Google Guardian Frameshift Booster and it will tell you, it will find you, it will show you uh, the guide how to do it. Um, I think this this planet, this system is like in general recommended to go there. But you, you will find it, there are like quite good videos about it. Elliot, I'm in distant worlds free like official distant worlds um that so for the for getting the guardian things you just need a ship that has srv on it so service service vehicle the scarabs and you will go explore explore the ruins and that will give you basically i think all or most of the resources you can find there uh when it comes to engineering um, once you get, like, one of the first tiers in, so as you can see, as you can see, I am tra I am uh, Explorer Rank Elite. Once you get certain, I think it might be the first, the first above nothing, uh, Explorer Rank, you will get invitation from Felicity Farseer. And she does, um, she does engineering that you mostly need for for the exploration like for example i have pinned blueprints to increase fsd range which is the most important thing for exploration uh what she will need you to do she will need you to go to maya or somewhere there maya is a black hole close to bubble which is in targoid space there is maya and basically from there, around the Pleiades, uh, you will need to either buy meta alloys or get meta alloys from Targoid Barnacles. Once again, you will just Google where to find them. And, you know, it's not difficult. You can even find, like, guides on how to unlock every engineer, which you don't need. I would say uh, Felicity Farseer and Elvira Martug, you will get her, you will get to her from Felicity. They are enough to get you there. Um, yeah, Elvira Martug had something I used there as well. But see, Felicity has frameshift drives, engines, and thrusters. Basically, yeah. Um, I think it does. I think it does. I'm not sure. Because some someone else wanted me to bring something. And they, it specifically said that you have to, like this Soontil relics, I think she specifically said where to get them. But maybe not, which no, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, what I did, I, I went discovering, I did not even go to like known Targoid barnacle sites, I was just exploring Pleiades and hoping to not get interdicted. <laughs> or something, hyperdicted. And basically that's how I just, I how I just got there. <laughs> yeah it's first day today okay yeah yeah on youtube there are a lot of great tutorials how to find those things i really i would really recommend doing that you think there would be more people interesting exploring if there were channels in this world <laughs> yeah but anyway i would i would recommend the engineering is not that difficult what do you what is a good tip for engineering uh, there are a few places where you can get quite a lot of materials. Um, and there are, for example, there is Daw's Hope. 
which is like a known site. I think that it's right here. You will, if, once again, if you will be Googling how to do engineering, you will find that. Um, and you might not find the resources you need for engineering that, but that is okay. Any resources you find, there are traders, and I will not see them on the map, I think, because that's how it works. I need to be close there. But these are material traders, raw, manufactured, and encoded. Let's say you need arsenic, but you don't have arsenic, but you have instead polonium or something. You will go to raw material trader and you can exchange your polonium for arsenic. And the same way with manufactured and encoded uh, materials. If you, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask me. There's so much I could cover, but basically just, just ask me. Uh, Sidewinder should be should be able to get to Hutton, yeah. I went to Hutton Orbital once, but I went there in my ASP Explorer. Okay, Skynet, thank you so much for being here. Being here, I hope you'll have a great rest of your day. Yeah, I I totally went there for the free anaconda. Totally, we I took I took a selfie. Wait, wait, wait. Are they? <gasps> Cohen is not here. Look what we found. Park mounts. It's been some time. I, for some reason, didn't expect them. Park mounts. Of course, we found bark mounts. We are right next to a nebula. Why am I even surprised? Why am I even. Uh, what kind of materials do we have? Ooh, my shield. <clears throat> Let's just, you know, be safe. Uh, what sort of materials are on this planet? Moon? Yttrium, molybdenum, arsenic. Do I need anything from this? I don't think so. So, what? when I did, when I went to Hot and Orbital, uh, I got a mug. One mug. And then I flew away from it. And there is this one white dwarf in the bubble. I'm sure you know which one I'm talking about. And needless to say, there was a pirate who really wanted my mugs. My mug. One, I'm sorry. One mug. Uh, the pirate interdicted me as I was... Uh, as I was close to the tails of the dwarf. And basically, I interdicted... I, I tried to dodge the interdiction inside the tail of a dwarf. Needless to say, I died. I think we both died. Yeah, yeah. That is a really good tip, Shayla. Yeah. Uh, basically, that is while I was at the biological side, that is why I was checking whether I need any of the materials there. Because if I needed to, I it would be very easy to get it at the site. Um, but where are we going to fly now? I'm sorry. Um, this is not what I need anymore. So there are none of the cool, cool star classes. Star types, whatever. Um, I could just go to random place. I kind of feel like going to random place. Is there any cool random place anywhere? What the frick, Mag what? You, you haven't read the story. The Max will keep your drink warm because they are made from the ships that didn't make the trip to Hutton. I think that's a really cool thing. So that's why it of course weights a ton and I would assume it's not only one mug. How to supercharge FSD? Hmm, can I show you? I would need to find a neutron star somewhere close by right now. But I can absolutely show you. Uh, well, first of all, you need to have a ship that can jump 50, unless I'm wrong, 50 light years to be able to make more than 200 uh, light years jump. Because you need to boost from a neutron star, uh, and that boosts your jump range by 4. I, I don't see any neutron stars around here. Is... oh, this... um... Oh yeah, because I'm too close to the zero line, right? Maybe around here? No? Oh! 
What was there? What are you? Neutron star. Okay, I can show you. And maybe I will find... Oh, requires unknown permit. <sighs> requires unknown permit. There are weird permit spaces here. Um, you don't just fly into it, no. You need to fly into the tail. And you can do it uh, to a white dwarf as well. But white dwarf boosts you just by, by a little. Um... Bernard, there are a few... There are a few... I don't know why. But there are a few places here that require a permit. I have no idea why. I just know it. it it's true. I, I just saw it somewhere. Yeah. Um, Emma was sharing... His... his How he's going to fly. And maybe it's even on... Oh, maybe I can go here. Okay. Oh, there is even a neutron star before that. Awesome. So I will, I will show you. I will show you how to do it. Basically, uh, what you have to do, you cannot get. If you get too close, first, I would say first thing. Yeah, when you try it for the first time, fly in a cheap ship. That you can just easily, if you if you explode, if you explode, it doesn't, it won't matter that much because chances are you will explode when you try it for the first time, unless you are super careful. And it, and it's still, it's it's, you might do it a hundred times and and you might still make a mistake somewhere and die. And when I say die, I really mean it. Um, if you end up in the tail of a white dwarf or a neutron star in normal speed in normal space you will die there is basically minuscule chance of escaping you will have to be really lucky to escape um, if you don't have enough money you can always do void opal mining I uh, that is how I made like a billion before I got the ship so, basically, you cannot get too close to the star in the middle because that will throw you off your super cruise and you will die. You don't need to sell your anaconda. Well, do you not have any money? Or have you sold your other ships to buy anaconda? Or what have you done? Because uh, the void opal mining you can do in basically any ship. You have 30,000. <laughs> you sold all your ships to upgrade Anaconda. Well, I would, I would, you know, I would suggest you, I don't know what is your rebuy for Anaconda. For example, my rebuy is 12 million for this Beluga. Um, which is, yeah. Exactly what I want to get to what Valier is saying. To sell one module. Sell one module so you could get uh, some cheap ship. For example, I was mining in Asp Explorer. I think I spent around 10 million on it. So uh, to get it fitted with mining gear. And it was like mining plus exploration, really. Uh, Asp Explorer. And I made like 100 million on one mining trip in the ship um so yeah i would say if you if you want to make more money void open mining is a great idea you have to learn it a bit it's not like you will just do this one easy simple thing and you will make you know millions but if you learn it then you can easily make a lot of money i unfortunately cannot show you because i don't have the gear here i don't have the anything here but uh, quite a few people you know other people are streaming elite and uh, are mining quite often because it's it's fun it's a lot of fun and it makes a lot of money and now I'm jumping to white yellow star one of the jumps there will be a neutron star so I'll show you um, anyway and yeah 
it's it's just very satisfying how you expose them. You put you just put fuel tanks near Imperial Eagle yesterday because your engineer FSD could use two tons per jump with a four ton tank. <laughs> Surprised you get stranded when jump takes half a tank. Damn. Had to get ready once. I can imagine. I can imagine. See, I didn't have that problem because Beluga has a huge tank. The problem of Beluga is that it it cannot have uh, it can only have the biggest optional internal slot is six, so it can only have six a tank. But you know, I I I can deal with that. I don't think that is such a big problem. Like yeah, it takes longer to you know get the fuel, but. Not that it really matters to me, you know? I can make like 16 jumps, I think, without refueling. <laughs> Which is really good if I'm making a lot of neutron jumps. Drive charging. Yeah, that is why I, that is why I, and, and Orca too. That is basically why I took it. I was thinking about getting Anaconda. Because, you know, I made a million. I made a million. Uh, the billion, I'm sorry, made a billion mining. So I was like, hey, I can buy any ship except for, you know, the locked ones. Um, so I was like, I maybe I should get Anaconda, but I was looking at other people and and I was looking at how they, you know, fly the Anaconda and I was like, I don't like how the ship looks. A whole billion, a whole billion, I'm sorry. I got to uh, Trader Elite basically, thanks to mining. Yeah, so uh, chilling, chilling guys. Basically, what you can do, I will, I will show you the the problem with neutron jumps. So right now my frame shift drive is at ninety seven percent, and soon we will be at. Uh, how soon is the neutron jump? A few more jumps and we'll get there. Uh, basically, the problem is with neutron jump, you can jump far away. With your ship, you would be able to jump. 120 light years uh, I can jump like 180 light years in one jump uh, with neutron boosted the problem is each time we do a neutron boosted jump your frame shift drive gets damaged um, and it depends on how long you stay in the in the tail and that sort of thing but if the integrity of the module falls under 80% it might start falling, failing. Uh, if it starts failing, it means that basically you will want to charge the jump, but it will say that no, it failed, and you will have to start charging from the start. Which is the problem if you get stranded in a neutron, um, a neutron tail, because what you have to do, you just have to jump to the first system from there, just so you would get out of there. Um, and, and it will damage your modules even faster if you are stranded there and it you know it will fail and fail so what do you have to do you had you have to have afmus uh, with you which is auto field maintenance uh, unit it's a uh, optional internal module and that module can repair everything it's except for itself and your power plant that's why it's if you are doing a long trip it's good to have two of them so they can repair each other and I do have two I have two like um, I think only three yeah three a so they they have some ammo which can be synthesized um, somewhere somewhere AFM refill this and basically based on that I can do a lot of neutron jumps, but if I didn't have Afmus, I wouldn't be able to do the neutron jumps because my ship would just break. Uh, what you can do when you are going to Sagittarius A, if you want to take it slowly, uh, kind of close to Sagittarius A is Colonia. I hope you heard about Colonia. It's the other place, other than Bubble, where there are a lot of stations, a lot of people living there, and high areas. Uh, and there is sort of Colonia Highway between those two. And there is a station every couple thousand light years, basically. Uh, it is the part of the journey that Distant Worlds Expedition took. So basically what you could do, you could just find those stations and 
go station from st from station to station, it would take a long time. I don't know how long it would take. I cannot ta tell whether it would take you a month or not. Because it depends how many hours per day, per week can you play. How how fast do you do jumps? Do you do exploration, right? Do you click on every on every planet to see what it is? For example, this one is terraformable. Would you go there and map it to make more money from it or not? Because all those things, you know, those those take time. So it's absolutely only up to you how you play. Um, but complete. you can make the journey in any ship, Frame ship drive if you have enough time. The Conda and Venice is the number of slots available and the huge jump range you can get. But in Super Cruise, it's as slow to turn as a planet. <laughs> Yeah, I want to... Uh, Barnard, uh, Chilling Ice said uh, jump range is 41 right now. It's unengineered Anaconda. So, it's smaller jump range than my ship. I am right now at 48-ish, depending how much fuel I have. Charge your friendship. I don't know whether I can do that. 48. If I, if I put on, take on the fuel, it would be a bit less. Yeah, 41 is plenty to get there, but it's not the fastest, right? If you had if you had the paperweight engineered 40, uh, 83 light years anaconda, it would take, you know, half the amount of jumps, not to mention how far you would get, right, if you uh, take Neutron Star. If you're in Star Society and you haven't upgraded FSD, you are not going to do that, yeah. Yeah, but maybe if, with, if you are an upgraded FSD CID or something, then you should be able to do that. I think. I haven't tried. I, I, I still have to try the T10, T9. I'm really curious about them. Like, everyone's complaining about them. Yeah, not stock. The stock CID is. The stock CID should not be mentioned. That is, I am still like having flashbacks to when I just first started the game. And I took a mission, you know, no problem. I just, some data delivery mission. And then I was like, yeah, sure, I want to go there. Um, only to discover that within bubble, I said he could not jump into that system because it was too far away from any other system. <laughs> <sighs> Good old times of Sidey. Is there anything hidden? Of course there is anything hidden. Let's go a bit further away. It was it's still funny to see that my highlight reel. I don't know how many of you were here when I was playing Ellie Dangerous for the first time ever. But if you haven't seen it, you can do exclamation mark YouTube and get to my YouTube channel. And there is a highlight reel, the, the stream, the whole stream is also on, on my YouTube. But there is this highlight stream of me playing Ellie Dangerous for the first time and it was something, it was something. I may have tried to slam into a planet. It was it was hilarious. I'm really glad I started playing Elite Dangerous. I think it's a wonderful game, but the first first few hours were really a struggle. <laughs> um, I I'm not even checking whether it has anything, any locations. Maybe I should be paying more attention to that. What do you have? Ah, uh, forty six bodies. That explains. <laughs> Um, but the best, the best moment didn't make it into the highlight reel because it was a long, long time in making. But when I took my first cargo delivery mission, and I forgot to take the cargo, it was, it was, it was quite far away the the station I was going to, and people were like telling me like, look, how it's it's really far away. You will be flying there for like fifteen minutes. I was like, you know, okay, I can, it's not the end of the world, I can just do that, it will, it will pay me like a million when I finish the mission, it's totally worth it. Yeah, then I finally go there, after the 15 minutes, and I realize I forgot the cargo, to take the cargo. 
And I was this close to just abandoning the mission, but there was like, no, you know what? No, I am getting it back. I am, I'm finishing it. I want my million. So I went back. I took a mission to on the way back. Went first to the, you know, original starport. Took a cargo. Flew back, you know, the 15 minutes and got my million. And I felt so accomplished that, and you know, I managed to do that. I didn't back out, and never forget to take cargo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Th those videos where people open Galaxy Map for the first time. Or even when some someone comes to my stream and they're like, Oh, I'm thinking about getting Ellie Dane first. Like, I don't know. I don't know how, you know, how it compares to Star Citizen or even Line or something. I'm like, let me show you the Galaxy Map. It's so overwhelming in a, the best possible way. You're forgetting to buy limpets often, really. I, I never forgot to buy limpets. Uh, I had a problem that I kicked, uh, like, yeah, got rid of too many limpets when I wanted to make more space for uh, void opals, and then I realized I could actually use those limpets, but, you know, I can always synthesize limpets. That is not the big of, biggest problem. If you have enough iron and nickel, you can synthesize limpets. So it's, it's not the worst thing. There are worse things to do, is what I'm trying to say. And I know if you want to synthesize limpets, it's, it takes a lot of, you know, resources. Compared to how many limpets you get, but it's still better than nothing. And chilling so guys, if you have any questions about anything I've mentioned at any point, I know I speak a lot and I speak quite fast, but just go for it. Just ask me. Any, any, either I or someone in the chat will try our best to answer your questions anything about elite or you know not about elite just go for it i was even featured commander you go to go to school okay then i hope you all have a great day at school i hope it goes well do i want to i don't want to wait for this but if i can say the last thing you totally can make it sagittarius it will just take some time I'm, I'm, I sure I will. I sure I will. Oh, I wanted to show you the neutron jump. And I'm flying there too slowly. You have one mechanics question. How do you make cats to like you? Well, um, the thing is, you cannot give them too much attention. Like, unless they actively come to you for attention, you cannot give them attention. Because then they will just, just, mm -mm. It's too too much, too much. Too, you're coming to strong men. Whereas people who kind of ignore them usually get cats all over them because that's how cats work. <sighs> I just got an email. So let me let me check this. Let me check this quickly. I ordered myself my own. My own merch to wear on TwitchCon, uh, and to and to just have. So I ordered a mug, and that I would just have because the mug is super cute. Uh, and I ordered two shirts, two shirts that I want to wear to TwitchCon, which I kind of want to get as soon as possible because TwitchCon is here in a week and something. I ordered it on Tuesday. The mug was shipped out today. The shirts are still not even being printed. Hi, Dokken, how are you doing? Ah, how are you doing, Dokken? How is your day? I'm happy it's almost Friday. But at the same time, I feel, I feel strangely confused about the day, days of the week and everything. Because I'm streaming right now. I feel like today is Wednesday. Even though it's not, and and everything. And I'm, I should be drinking more. End of sprint today, many meetings and demo, demo today. I see it, I see it. On first day. I feel like first day is like a usual day for that, right? So it's not Friday, so. No? Am I wrong? <laughs> I'm kind of 
kind of tired, but okay. Cats love when you play hard to catch. Like, notice how a cat always seems to go to one person being allergic to cats, while everyone is, is trying to learn the cats, yeah. But I meant token more like in general, like different companies that I feel like everyone just has it on, on first day for whatever reason. I, I feel like either first day or Tuesday are those days. I don't want to get fuel because I want to do the neutron boost to jump for over 200 light years. There is some really strange noise. But yeah, cat, cats, cats don't don't like people who who are trying to pet them. I I don't get it. Like they they want to you know come to you from their own agenda, not because you call them filthy human. Also, Doken, I was checking the Tropico, but the the version I have is still the better version, which doesn't have all the things, doesn't have like the usual missions. And while I could play it, I I don't know whether I I don't know I feel weird about it. Basically, I I I could also request, and I did actually. I did request like a full version, but I don't know whether I will get it or where when I would get it. I was thinking whether to play it right now. Um. But yeah, I don't know. I, I am feeling kind of lost what games to play. Or <coughs> what to stream, how to stream, what to do. I feel like my hat is in a totally different headspace right now. It's not necessarily a bad thing. But it's also not the best thing for streaming. Most animals love you, but sometimes there's a dog or cat that growls at and hisses at you. And that just happens, right? It's It's... As if animals had different personalities and every animal was different, similar to how humans are, but that would never be possible, right? I find it so ridiculous when people don't realize that animals are so similar to us. They are so, so similar. They have their moods, they have their pain, they have their things they want to do. Yeah, just like people. Some people just don't get along, absolutely. In the same way, some animals just you know, want to do certain things than, than other animals. And it's it's okay that way. Like I get I get so like deeply offended. Maybe I shouldn't I shouldn't get that deeply offended, but I get deeply offended when there are like these um like science science experiments on monkeys and like getting monkeys like ex doing experiments whether monkeys can be jealous or something. And then they are shocked. <gasps> monkeys can feel jealousy. Monkeys are not happy if you, if you know, two monkeys do the same task and one, one monkey will get better food for it than the other monkey. Surprise, surprise! Monkeys are not happy about it. Yeah, people forget that that humans are animals. That is like problem of it. I, I don't even know I don't even know why I was so offended by it but but I was it was I was just I, I saw the video and I saw the comments of the people and I, I just wanted to pull my hair or something because they were stupid no we are animals I like we, we are I'm not saying we are doing good things like I'm not saying that all the things we do are good because they are not but we are just animals animals that manage to do different things I would love like I love the idea that in the future we will be able to study not only how humans evolve but how other alien races that got to this level of you know evolution whatever has gotten uh, ideally at that stage you know like space space age um, and how they got there, how was their interaction with other species on their planet, and that so on. I, I just, I feel like we would be mind blown by that. Yeah, right? I would love to have a crow 
that I'm feeding and everything and a crow that loves me that sort of thing Like, evil that is not entirely true. We don't consume everything. I And I think now it's getting better that we are being more aware of what we are doing. But at the same time, the environment and everything... Everything is evolving. Everything is evolving. And hopefully we will not destroy us. Hopefully. Um, but hey, maybe I will get mugged before TwitchCon. Maybe I, I will just take a mug to TwitchCon and that would totally not be weird. I think I should get a bit of fuel. Uh, how is my jump range right now? Oh, 50. I want to have 50. Is the next one of Neutral Star? No. I haven't seen that video, no. Am I, I? I feel like I'm slightly too hot. I am definitely too hot. I don't think I'll get above 100, but I'm like at 84% heat. That is not the best way to jump. But we have, there are a lot of crow, crows around here and they, they, they destroyed our table outside because they were throwing uh, rocks down like chimneys and stuff. <laughs> Even a machine that feeds crows and they put money or other items in it. So they bring machine and all kinds of stuff. Awesome. Anyway, they're, they're, the crows are, were... Uh, basically, there was some sort of netting or something in a lot of chimneys. They were not being used. So that, you know, things would not, not fall in there or, or something. And the crows were basically putting rocks there. I think so they would make their nest on top of it or something along those lines. And um, one of those rocks fell from the roof on the way on all the way to dining to like a glass table that was on outside and just shattered. It was like goodbye table, like unsolvable. Oh, nice, nice evil. So anyway, and I, I would kind of love if, you know, I could have friends like that. I had quite a few terraformable planets. Um, do I want to get a lot of money for this system? Okay, there are a lot of planets, not so far free terraformable high metal content worlds. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so there are just just free terraformable high metal content world that is not bad but do i want to fly there i don't think so Frame shift drive charging. blasphemy it was it was horrible it was horrible wasn't i supposed to get to neutron star um cancel it how far away is it Okay, if I go to here, if I plot my course right now. Oh, look, there's a different one closer. Okay, then that is all I'm interested in. Oh, evil, that is not a good thing. That is not, not a good thing. Throwing rocks at the car. And I hopefully at least not from an overpass or something because that literally kills people. Why am I so tired right now? I was I was like a good kid in terms of in terms of you know not destroying things. Uh, I was just very individual. I was just I was just yeah I was just just trying to get away from my parents and stuff. They were parked cars and they were little rocks. Okay, then it's not that bad, right? We for discovery for a neutron star. So let's see those over 200. I should probably be looking where I'm going when I'm doing this, right? Hey, let me out of here. 
So, and right now I am at 98%. Like, people in general don't like their cars to be, to be hurt. You know, for, for a reason. Like, cars are quite expensive. Oh, Draggy, hi! We are here to pledge our support to that cause. <laughs> Thank you so much, Draggy. How is your day? How are you doing? Um. Oh, Dokin, have you have you have you heard? Where are you? Oh, you 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 were here when I said that I might be getting the mug before TwitchCon, but that's about it. So right now my jump range is where am I? Two hundred and one. So now I want to jump to a place that is like 200 light years far away how far away is that uh, more far away yeah people some in some countries people care way too much about their cars i know i know in slovakia they do definitely way too much 207 104 203 how much can i jump you are Oh, no, 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 no. What maximum this? Oh, okay. I need a tiny bit closer. No, this is not 200. 250. Yes. No, this is not maximum distance exceeded. I obviously can't jump that far away. What is wrong with you? Yeah, I, I, what, what, what? Oh, now I bookmark it. I'm just clicking on all the wrong things. Why does it say maximum distance exceeded? Wait, where do you want me to jump? I love you, Galaxy Map. Never change, never change. Where do you want me to jump? 190? But why do you want me to jump to a system that is 190 far away? Your team, your club team lost yesterday's match. But you had a nice big map. That is good, that is good. Yeah, I know, Barnard. I know, but still, it's like, you know, it should let me plot it. Good night, Shayla. Thank you for being here. To. Okay, I don't know who would. Select target the galaxy and jump. Let me try that. I, I never really do that, so. I want this one. Just like this? It's 200 and I can... Okay, okay, okay. I never realized that I can do this. Yeah, I have enough. I have enough space fuel tank. Okay, thank you. I, I've never done that. <laughs> never had to done that. Respraying cars can be very cheap just by a few spray cans. Something is telling me that is not a good idea. I don't know why. I don't really care about that. But, yeah. Whee! 200 light year jump! Okay. And now we can wait here forever and get the fuel back. What do we have here in this system? Probably nothing much, but you know. It's a good thing that I let the scanner go just before it finished. One. One rocky body. Icy body. Landable. Not interesting. Yeah, yeah, Barnard. Yeah, I, that, is, that is why I could jump that far away. I was hoping that, you know, if I tell it, 
that I have Jamponium or something that will let me plot it. But whatever. Um, what else can we do now? Like, I feel like I am kinda, oh, what happened? Kinda having enough of, like, the distant worlds flying, you know, waypoint to waypoint. Like, I, I, I am, I don't want to do that anymore, but, you know, I will go, I will go to Abyss, to, to the Beagle Point. But I just, I just don't want to follow it in that way anymore. If I, okay, if I wanted to go to Beagle Point, how far away is it right now? Twenty-seven thousand. Yeah, but landable is is about landable is about whether like the game mechanics allow it, not whether whether anything else really. Um, twenty-six. Okay, okay, okay. So let's say I want to come somewhere here. Hey, little Marmarn, how are you doing? There is literally nothing on the planet, though. Like, and this is not even a big star. Wait, how big is this star? I know it looks big. Okay, four solar masses, but it's not that huge. And this is... 2.4 gravity, no volcanism, not just, it's just, it, it's, you know, it would, wait, how far away are you? It's 4,000 light seconds. That is not close to the star. Um, that what you don't see in that circle there is the planet because it's that far away. I'm good, I'm good. Um, there are some different places where it's possible to land and see a huge star. I will, you know, actually I will show you one of the screenshots I took in in a bit. But basically this, by the time I would get there, the star would not be that big. Basically, the planet you're talking about, it's icy planet. That, it just, by that, by default, basically means it's far away. Yeah. It's, it just looks close in the FSS, but I want to show you a picture. Um, I have at least screenshots. Warning. Ooh. Temperature critical. Okay, 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 okay. I see it, I see it. I will move a bit far further. Okay, maybe a bit more further. This is a hot star, okay? A hot star. Okay, now the temperature should be falling. Yeah, 83. Still not be awesome, but... Um, this one? You can kind of see that this was quite close. You could see quite, you know... And this was a different one. It's also quite close to... Uh, this is L... Al dwarf. That was quite nice. There's some tubes, there's my SRV, there's the star. Those were quite nice. Um the pictures, the pictures, there was just a random place I came across during the distant worlds. Okay, Fist of Snake, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here, having a good night. Goliath's rest is which one? <laughs> Direct light hits fifty percent of a spear. That is a fair point. Um, where was I going? Oh, I was going to a random place. Oh, um, there is a random place. Plotted the course. Let's let's just try to wait. Wait, should I? Why not? Yeah, you can totally find some yourself. Basically. Oh, the previous waypoint. I see. I see. How are you doing, Pegasus? The secrets of streaming, streaming, abate me in my Discord. Do I want to see that? Hey, I unlocked 
EDSM badge. Says gone. That may, may, means I made a jump of more than 200 light years. Um, you can, but I will not really able to look at it. If you want me to look at the screenshot, the best way is to send it to my Discord. Which you can do exclamation mark social or exclamation mark Discord. Or find the link below my stream. Um, but yeah. Whee. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you for supercharging me. Out me out now. I have nine messages. Nine messages from Honey Teeth. Oh, damn. Oh, you really, like... Damn, Honey Teeth. I will have to look at it. I'm, I'm kind of impressed. Oh, I'm, I should have probably done this. I think you two are talking about different things. Like one is like Or are you not? I'm just confused. I will not try to do math in my head right now. I'm sorry, I will not. Yeah, but but you know, non Euclid whatever physics everything is possible oh this is one of those systems oh this is one of uh, this is not the first discovery damn it wait it's, it, it is of these but it's not the first discovery of neutron star oh this is a yummy system oh let i i can't wait to show you how yummy is the system nom 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 okay okay honey tea. thank you uh, oh there are gas giants i didn't even notice those uh, but basically so this is one of those systems this is similar to what I found before what I found before was an earth like uh, orbiting M dwarf thousands of light seconds away from it so far past its Goldilocks zone but it was still an earth like world because it was uh, there was also a neutron star in the system and the neutron star has a huge habitable zone or some of them have like this one has so what is happening in this system all the planets around the B star are terraformable the planets not the moon so there are six terraformable planets <laughs> around around there which is quite an, you know respectable number Six terraformables, it's pretty good. When it when it comes to like how much money you get for mapping it. Question is how far away it is, but it should not be further than thirty thousand light years, light seconds, so that's okay. I am fascinated by what you talk about. Just go for it. So for it. There's like science Please. stuff. And these are asteroid clusters. Okay, so. So, right now, look. <laughs> there is quite a big 0.8 solar masses. That is like a meaty neutron star. 0.8 solar masses. You will often find like 0 0.3, 0 0.4. But this is 0.8. So, my EDD discovery is saying that uh, Goldilocks range is 15 thousand light seconds to 31 thousand light seconds and of course all of this is way too close way too close but there is this m star wait this is 40 thousand from the main what the f i don't know how any of this works now Anyway, all of these are candidates for terraforming. Even though they are... This is 0.2 solar mass red dwarf. Look how far, look how far away these guys are from it. This, this, this far away? If I zoom in to the way that we actually see the star, that far away is everything terraformable
Do I even want to go there? I kind of do. I kind of do because none of those are explored. Unless I'm wrong, but I think none of them were... Let me check it again. Yeah, none of the planets are discovered by anyone, so... I will get still a lot of money for discovering the planets. Right now it says roughly 1 million credits for this system. And that is without mapping it? Yeah, but the problem... Or the problem... This is 40,000 light years away. Ugh. This one is saying that the neutron star's Goldilocks zone is 31,000, but this is 40,000 light years away. That is like, I would... I will show you the... the other one I found. Mm -hmm. No, this is not it. Uh, and this is squadron. Was it like this? Hey, hey. Was it this one? The M star is not hot. The M star is not hot. Look, this is. 0.7, so also a huge, pretty huge neutron star. There is 0.3 M star. There is tiny star. And there is an Earth-like world. That Earth-like world is like 1,000 light years away from this tiny, tiny M star. But it is within the 25 something thousand light years Goldilocks zone from the neutron star. Um, this M star is not hot at all here. Once again, it in this system, it's, yeah, 0.2, solar mass is 0.4, solar radius. This is, like, there are a couple of zeros, temperature difference. Yeah, I know, but that is, like, easy, easy way to, it is, it correlates together. Like, um... I think Indie Discovery calculates the Goldilocks zone based on the temperature. Yeah, uh, the this this M star has Goldilocks zone of 32 to 63 light seconds, which will probably encompass the asteroid belt or so. But it's not enough to heat up enough a planet that is you know thousand light year light seconds away from it. That is, they are warm thanks to the neutron star but even even the neutron star even this neutron star should not be giving up enough warmth according to ed discovery they also found some really strange like like terraformable planet around l dwarf when there is you know no other enough warm star nearby to heat it up just really, really strange. Strange things. Careful, the Golden Luck Zone still has at least one bear in it, right? Can we get there? It is quite far away from the neutron star, you know. But, Valia, what I'm saying that this red dwarf, it could not help the neutron star enough for that. The, hell, the heat of this uh, M, it just dis dissipates into nothing. Like I said, the Goldilocks zone, the maximum range of this is 63 light seconds. There's just, just nothing. M, M dwarfs are the least warm of all the uh, main, main sequence stars. There's just, it's like barely a star, honestly. Like, barely, you know? Ahem, <clears throat> Goldilocks zone. Ahem, <clears throat> anyway. And you s look how far away those planets are. And yet, they are terraformable. 
or whatever reason. Oh, that that is weird. That is weird. The question is, like, I guess, where is the temperature? And, like, even, even, like, brown dwarves should not be totally cold, right? Like, I know the science behind Elite is not exact, it's not perfect, but still. Some things are sometimes ridiculous. Like, when there are... I, I have a hard time with Titori and her big stars, honestly. Um, especially because when they are in systems with other stars that are not, you know, proto-stars, and but they have the same age. Just strange. Oh, more than 50 geological points of interest is not hard to find. Uh, it's just usually water geysers or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is the tiny M dwarf. I'll eventually, you know, get to it very slowly. Look how close we are already, and it's still so tiny. 100 light seconds, will we st uh, still- Ah, uh, still- not Kinda, kinda, getting bigger now. It's a really, really, really tiny, not too warm star. And hey, at least we can very easily- Those are the easiest stars to fuel scoop from, because you will not get that warm. Whew. So anyway, we are at the star. Um, so I want to know from here. This one is 2,231 light seconds away. Like, I'm sorry, but this M dwarf cannot provide any heat that far away. Not even at the at the first, not even at the first planet, really. I will. I didn't know that was that was a problem. I'm quite sure I had like 52 or something. Uh, Alrighty, so one, two, three, four, five, six, all of them. So let's do two, one, three, four, and then five, six. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite. I'm quite sure that like 40. I know 40. 40s is very very common to get with like water places. I think most of the problems is that no one has patience to wait for the geological, you know, locations to appear. And hi, Silas, how are you doing today? Oh. You found a different planet with 3.2 million atmospheres at surface. There were, there were a picture like that on Reddit, I think. Yeah, there were, there were like people like, oh, look at how many atmospheres. Oh, no, I'm missing it. Look at how many atmospheres. I'm fine. And I'm like, oh, who cares? I really don't know why people care about that stat, honestly. It's like, there is atmosphere. I cannot land on it. I don't care. Phew. I'll eventually get there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, planet. Yeah, 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 something like that. It's just like, why is it Im interesting even? Or is it just me? Am I am I too that? Too jaded? With exploration? Like, I often don't notice just a lot of stats about planets. And I'm like, you know, maybe if I was paying attention, maybe I also found something cool. But I often don't just pay attention to things like that. It's not easy to pay attention to some things. Just you have to, you like, uh, like, yeah, you actually have to pay attention. It doesn't just jump into your face. Oh, look, this number is a really extreme number. Maybe you should pay attention to that. It just never happens. Complete. It's like so cute. Ugh. 
<sighs> yeah, 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 but that is that is the thing. That is the same problem I have with, you know, proto stars being the same age as, you know, different types of stars. I I think I did, Pegasus. I think I did burn myself out of it. But also, I, I don't know, there are just so many things. I don't think it's really possible to pay attention to everything. Like, imagine a system like this. And now, look how many tiny landable moons, moons they are. And maybe one of them would have some really cool planetary feature. But... I am not willing to explore every single one of these tiny moons. This one is spinning fast. So I'm not really, really willing to, you know, go there and, and check every one of them to see whether there is something interesting. I, I overshot them. 100% water atmosphere. I always find it find it interesting when they have um, like water world with ammonia atmosphere or combinations like that. Yeah, Pegasus, but I want to get I want to get to Beagle Point. After I get back from the Beagle Point, then I will do like all the other things. But right now I am I want to get to Beagle Point. And get this whole <laughs> But yeah, I, I will do some combat and things like that afterwards. Like, you know, different things. Or I feel like the problem is that... The problem is that the exploration is kind of going from waypoint to waypoint. And it's not like when I want to do what I want to do at my own pace, at my own... Yeah, I don't have a second account. I, I don't really want to have a second account. I would feel like I can like I would have to full time play only elite and I don't want to do that. That is like on it's not a bad thing, right? That um you know, it is waypoint to waypoint and it's so easy to follow the distant worlds because I also want to play other games, I also want to do other things. So I'm I'm that's why I'm also streaming a bit less elite because I just I'm just playing it where I feel like it and I feel like I'm, I'm less pressured to do whatever I should be doing or whatever. But yeah. Yeah, Barnard, yeah. My interest is definitely more for finding the things. And for me, the how long we stay at a waypoint or how long it takes to, for, you know, that sort of things, it's... it's too short to really stray out somewhere and do something and do you know economic jumps or something like that and at the same time it's too long to just travel the distance and wait I think that is my problem like it's easy to keep up with it so it, that I'm not returning back to bubble before I finish it but yeah I'm looking forward to to the end. Wow, are you looking forward to the end as well? I think yes. Like, you know, cats were not made for deep space exploration. Mwah! Cat butt. What cat butt? Oh, he's happy now. I don't know whether you can see that he's happy, but he's kneading on my tie. And so he's just moving up and down a bit. And he's purring. Oh, oh, he didn't. That is, yeah, that is where I need to go. And it's also, I don't like that we are too far away now from any stations. I feel like the ability to sell data every once in a while is very good motivation. Like, oh, look at this this number that, you know, confirms that I made the effort and whatever. Whereas without it, it's just, um, what am I even doing here? What am I trying to find? Tiger! Okay, what are you trying to do? 
no, no. And that is not a problem of distant worlds or, or anything. It's just me complaining because I'm a complainer. Okay, together. I I would like to play a game as well. Do you know that? Or it's, is it too much effort? I shouldn't be playing a game. Do, could it? Could I? Could I? Do you want the crown? Can I attach a crown to you? Ah! Oh, wait, wait, wait! Move your head a bit up. I attached it to his hair so it should not be hurting him. But look how cute he is! Look how cute he is! Yeah, I that is that is. But I also um. And this is, I think that is my personal hangup. I don't know what things are cool enough to share because, okay, together. I, I, uh, there was like this, this forum thread and I felt like a lot of things people were sharing were not cool at all. But at the same time, I felt like, so, so what is cool enough to share? You know, that sort of thing. So it was, it was, I think it's just my own mental sort of hang up that I had no idea what exactly like I should be doing with anything. Like I was, I am, I was super excited about the, the, the dark earth like world I found and things like that. But yeah, that is, that is, you know, I know that they felt, and I'm not saying, you know, I, I haven't gone there and started replying to everyone. Oh, you should not be sharing this. It's not cool enough. But it's me, more like for me personally that don't seem to be cool enough to share. And see, this is it. Then we go to like this far away. Thank you, Cross, is for the follow. Then we go this far away, and of course this is bugged. But um, all the planets this far away, even though they are terraformable, they are completely dark. There is no light. Like, there shouldn't be any plants or anything, because uh, there, you know, there might be, like, warmth uh, from the neutron star, but look, it's completely black. And that is basically how, you know, I can show you. This was the lit up side of the the lit up there was no lit up side uh, there was basically just the brightness that because that was close to galaxy core and that's why it looked this way that's why there was you know not completely dark but this is earth-like world that is like supposed to have you know green trees and whatever that is that that that's not how photosynthesis works or anything um i map this You think that? See, and I, I, I shared that, and no one gave a damn. Wait, have I not? Oh, no one gave a damn, and I was discouraged. I was so discouraged. I was so, so hyped when I found that, and no one, no one cared. No one anywhere. I shared it on Reddit. No one cared. I was sad. Was there? There was something else I shared, and. Oh, the... Oh yeah, this one. I found this, this hot, incredible color. This gas giant. I think it had really incredible color and looked really awesome. Once again. No one cared. You know, I'm a streamer. I live off attention. Right? Right, kitten? Do you also live off attention? He would be a great streamer. Except for, I, I think the talkative part of the streaming would not really work out well for him. There might be a problem in there. But other than that, he would be a great streamer. You know. He's very cute. Okay. Um, so yeah, I was, just, I was just, just discouraged, I guess, by things like that. And also... Is it just me? Or it's just, just way less notable stellar phenomena to be found in all other parts of the galaxy than, like, the bubble sector. Because since I left the bubble sector, I found maybe one notable stellar phenomena, and I made a lot of jumps. And I mean, uh, found, like, you know, I was the first one to find them. 
that was just that was just just weird. I don't know. It's like a lot of small things, I guess, that together with you know just left me discard. Um, is it working okay for you guys? Because for me, this was the strangest thing. I stopped hearing in-game music. And when I said um, it started running, but only since it was hearing the um sound. And then it went, there's a quick shutter. That was really strange. Oh no. I think I'm going a bit too fast for this. Phew. Yeah, there was just suddenly, suddenly music stopped working and everything. And I'm also, I think, one thing that I'm also a bit discouraged about, which hopefully will get fixed this year, is that if I try to land on planets, um, the game will start lagging a lot because of my computer. And I think once again that will get solved once I'll have a better computer, which I am planning to get this year, with your help. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's just, I really enjoy, you know, running with an SRV around another planet. Damn, this is dark. You know, just a regular terraformable planet. That was not a great hit. And the last one is six, right next door. So I'm hoping that once I'll get a better PC, everything will be better. That's how it works, right? Kitty! You didn't have to run away. Come here. Scan Kitty. Complete. Kitty! Oh, oh, hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. How are you doing today? You haven't joined- oh, okay, okay, okay. Goodbye Kitty. This is what I get today for wanting to cuddle the cats. Just ignore me. I am missing it again. I sped up too much. Oh no, oh no. This one even has like polar caps and everything. That is totally hilarious considering how... Can I see the temperature of it? Two hundred ninety-two Calvins. Isn't that like? Wait, this is two hundred forty-nine. Isn't that like very cold? At least the uh, two forty. Isn't that like minus something? Shoom! 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 Zero is like 270 or 290. So. Okay, this is 400. 400. 250. 260. 240. 290. Your new Risen and Ram is already ordered. Needs the motherboard. That's awesome, Samster. Yeah, so basically I have. Um, i5 3000 something you can do exclamation my castle to go to my website to check my spec i have just really old um 3.4 gigahertz um cpu which is totally bottlenecking me i'm, I'm i have kind of new ish ram that i had to buy last year because my ram died uh, my ram i'm sorry my graphics uh, graphics card died i was talking about graphics card but other than that it's yeah it's not great that is actually a great idea, Arnard. But yeah, these are just, you know, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. These are just, you know, totally dark and terraformable and totally not cold, but okay. I don't know how any of this works. But what I think I will actually do now is that I will um and the stream here yeah i just wanted to do a bit of a bonus stream so i think i think this will be it i am not feeling that great today i was hoping that if i start streaming i will do a bit better but 
I should stop trying to force it, I guess. I will have to figure out what to do about this. I will probably be changing my schedule a bit or something along those lines. And I just have to, like... I don't want to say that, that I'm unhappy that I'm streaming, but I am I need to get happier with other things that I'm doing and be happier at, happier with where I am with life. I like to listen to some Slime House. And, and that sort of thing, basically. Yeah. Yeah. So I basically want to focus on getting my, my physical health hopefully a bit better. Because right now it's not that great and I want to get better. I love the idea of, you know, being able to walk a bit and that sort of thing, which is really important. Yeah, thank you, Silas. And thanks you. Thank you, Samster. Um, let's just, let's just go with Psyche and I'll go lay down or something and everything will be fine. Okay, you have a great day. I'll be streaming tomorrow. Um... I'll figure out what I will be playing. I will be probably playing something I haven't played for a long time. I, I was thinking Hollow Knight or or something totally random like that because why not? Yeah, so you take hi to Psyche from me and I hope you'll have a great rest of the day. I hope I will have a great rest of the day and yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Say bye, Kat. Say bye. No, she's not saying bye. I'm saying bye. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>